Right now at 6, a major shakeup at Eastern Gateway Community College, impacting campuses in Youngstown and Steubenville. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. Today the school's president was terminated, and we learned another top administrator is under review for certain purchases he was making. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti was there as the Board of Trustees made its decision. It's our top story at 6. Just a week after placing him on leave, trustees with Eastern Gateway Community College took more permanent action today against President Jimmy Bruce. Dr. Jimmy Bruce has lost the confidence of the Board of Trustees of Eastern Gateway Community College due to dereliction of duty. Trustees voted unanimously to fire Bruce, who's been with the college nearly five years. Chair James Gassier told reporters administrators had been complaining Bruce was largely ignoring them, skipping cabinet meetings, and failing to fill key positions. We've lacked a provost position for a period of time. Uh, we're looking for some for direction in marketing and public relations. Gassier says problems started late last summer. He was very engaged, very active. And then there was a noticeable change from the August time frame on. While current CFO Michael Gagan is serving as interim president, trustees will begin a national search for a permanent replacement. In the meantime, Chief of Staff James Miller remains on paid leave after staff members discovered what are being called irregular items bought using Miller's college procurement or purchasing card. That uh, we felt were in violation of the Eastern Gateway Community College policy for, for expense reporting. Miller's card was one of 22 issued to administrators. While an audit is being performed for the state, the college is taking its own steps. With the exception of one card we have in the business office for emergency purchases, we've, we've closed down all the P cards, all the procurement cards. For now, trustees are now waiting to hear from the Ohio auditor on what actions to take next. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.